The art of cartooning became a dangerous vocation in 2006. A series of cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad was deemed offensive by many Muslim believers and touched off a storm in the Muslim world. Today, the editor of the Danish newspaper that published the cartoons says the idea of tolerance has been overturned. Unfortunately, today um, uh, tolerance. Or the concept of tolerance is being used as a weapon to stifle freedom of expression. Voltaire has been turned on his head. You know, Voltaire said, "I disagree with what you say, but I am prepared to die for your right to say it." Today, basically, people are saying, "I know you have the right to say it, but I think you should shut up." The riots marked a milestone in relations between Muslims and non-Muslims, especially in Europe. The controversial cartoons underscored the power the cartoonists yield in both the Western world and in the Middle East. But mostly, they tested the limits of freedom of speech and criticism of religion in an increasingly diverse world. Fleming spares no criticism towards some Muslim groups in Europe. On the one hand, they want a society based on religion, based on the, sh- the Sharia, and at the same time. They want freedom of religion, which is specific to a secular society. It's not a coincidence that that、uh, the societies in the world where individuals enjoy the greatest extent, extent、uh, of freedom of religion is in secular democracies.